Yo, what is going on, guys? This is your boy, the Doctor Hero QB, and today I want to show you guys something. Um, we're gonna be comparing the AK-12, uh, from Advanced Warfare to the AK-12 in Call of Duty Ghosts. And um, my argument is that the AK-12 base version in uh, Advanced Warfare is bad compared to the ghost version the ghost version kills within a few shots as you're gonna see in this gameplay excuse the KD I was not focused on getting a good KD I just wanted to show you guys the weapon in its entirety I didn't care how many times I died I really wasn't focused on that and most of my team quit out on this game anyway if you're wondering what map this is on advanced warfare this is from the ascendance DLC um, which I'll be doing a review on shortly um, but yeah, it's called Perplex, and we're playing Domination on it, and we absolutely get destroyed. I'm not gonna lie to you. But like I said, my team kept quitting out, and I was focused on getting the kills. As much as I wanted to play the objective, I just wanted to show you guys the weapon in comparison to Ghost. Um, so we're gonna be taking a look at the weapon in action here, and my argument uh, is pretty much, you know, this version of the AK-12 just sucks. Now, you could argue that because there are variants in a game, such as the R.I.P. and the Finger Trap, maybe that's why they don't want the, ver the, 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 the variation of the base version of this weapon to be powerful. But there's still no excuse. I mean, you know, they have to draw the statistics for these weapons from some type of reference. And I'm pretty sure Ghost was the only one that got it accurate. Because in Ghost... I really feel like the weapon kills the way it should as opposed to this one it feels like the weapon is fucking shooting marshmallow rounds and you can even hear it in the sound of the weapon when the weapon is fired it doesn't sound like it's actually doing anything it just sounds like it's hard to explain sorry for that weirdness guys but it's just it doesn't sound like it hits hard at all and I'm thinking if they're both AK-12s, they're, you know, what could they possibly have changed from Ghost? They're both Call of Duty games. Now, given the, the fact that they do have two different development teams, I mean, you think they will bounce ideas off of each other. And if you've seen the way that Call of Duty Ghost handled the AK-12, wouldn't you just bring over everything from Ghost to this new Call of Duty in terms of similarity from the weapons that you drag from the game into your game what I mean by that is if you dragged the AK-12 specifically from Call of Duty Ghost into Advanced Warfare then it should be the same thing I mean in my opinion the sound effects for the weapon is better I like the look of the weapon better in Ghost and I just think everything about the weapon is better in Ghost now mind you I forgot to mention this I do have the same attachments on both the AK-12 and both the gameplays so there's no excuse saying oh you well maybe you might have been using different attachments no I was using uh, both uh, for both guns I was using a foregrip with extended mags and in Ghost you didn't need extended mags to that length but in Advanced Warfare I really need it as you'll see half these guys take a lot of bullets to put down I think it's about 10 bullets to put them down if not more than that it's a ridiculous amount it's like the gun is fucking tickling them and when i went back to play ghost to get the gameplay for you guys using the ak-12 after right after this gameplay to be exact um i noticed that difference it was very noticeable to me that the ak-12 killed much faster in call of duty ghost now you can argue that yeah in call of duty ghost you die faster but i mean in this game it feels like you died just as fast as you did in ghosts and I mean there's you know there's nobody really saying that like when ghost came out everybody was complaining about oh you died too fast in this game in this game you die faster than ghosts if I'm correct and the hit markers and the hit detection don't even get me started now I do enjoy Call of Duty Advanced Warfare but as of late I've been getting really fucking sick of the game I wasn't even excited for the newest map pack usually you guys know me I'm like yes the new map pack is coming out blah 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 can't wait this map pack I'm just like man and now that I've actually gotten to play the maps I don't even care for them like I'm gonna give you guys an early on thought about the new maps and one word boring and you know they're also very unoriginal and let me explain why they're unoriginal it just seems like with this map pack they just tried to bring black ops style into advanced warfare and it just doesn't work advanced warfare needs to be its own game it needs to stop taking all these things from treyarch 
be your own game. You stole the zombies. You stole the pick 10. What else are you going to fucking steal? You got the diamond. I mean, come on. Sledgehammer, fucking have your own process. I thought this game would be a completely new experience, and it seems like I was wrong. I just feel like this is another attempt at bringing Black Ops back into the fray of the Call of Duty franchise. Now, here's the ghost gameplay. Um, as you guys will, will, will notice, the gun kills incredibly fast. I mean, there's times where I fuck up and I might miss some shots, but I know when I'm missing those shots. I know and I see when I'm missing those shots. When I'm on target, the gun kills the way it should it, it should be killing. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. But the gun kills incredibly fast and it's incredibly accurate. And when I am using the same methods I'm using in this game to sh kill people, you know, as in any other shooter game, point and shoot. In this game, it feels like the AK-12 is more powerful and more responsive. Look at that. In Advanced Warfare, if that was the same situation, I would not have gotten that kill. I would not have gotten both of those kills right there. I would have been dead after I killed the first guy if I was lucky enough to kill the first guy. But in this game, I obviously got both of those kills, which led me to get a double kill with this weapon. And it goes directly with my point. I mean, you aim the weapon, and the gun kills. And I really like that about Call of Duty Ghosts. And if I had to really give you guys my honest, honest opinion, as much as I like Advanced Warfare, I think Ghost is a much better Call of Duty game. I really enjoyed Ghost throughout the entirety of the life cycle with the game. When it was coming to an end, I was actually kind of sad because I really did have fun with this game. And I continued to play it throughout my 10th Prestige. When I hit the final Prestige, that's all I used to do is play this game. Sorry, my mom is yelling in the background. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but just ignore that. But anyway, I really enjoyed Call of Duty Call of Duty Ghosts. And I'm enjoying Advanced Warfare, don't get me wrong, but I'm, it's draining me. And I'm not really having fun like I did with Ghosts when it was the main game. So I really feel like, overall, in my opinion, Call of Duty Ghosts is the better game of the two. Um, and I love the AK-12 in this game. I hate it in the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game. Um, now, if I get the AK-12 finger trap or the RIP, maybe that will change my opinion about it. But then again, it shouldn't take a variant because you see this gun in this game, this, this base AK-12, given that there is no variation with the weapons in this game, but still, it's the base weapon killing the way it should. And Ghost, I mean, in Advanced Warfare, it's not that way. And I just don't like that at all because the AK-12 is one of my go-to weapons. And I want to bring you guys weapon, you know, gameplays with this weapon, but I can't because it's impossible to do in Advanced Warfare. I can pretty much do it in Ghost, but Advanced Warfare is like beating a dead horse. Because I'm just sitting there getting killed after killed after killed when I'm trying to get kill after kill after kill. And it's not working out the way it should. So what, that's why I always just run to my Elite Variations because the Elites own that game. And it's kind of effed up in my opinion, especially given the fact that now you can buy supply drops and all these YouTubers have the best elite weapons while I'm sitting here not doing that and I have to hope and pray that I get those. It's kind of a fucked up situation for us as Call of Duty players. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. This is your boy, the Darkest Hero QB, a.k.a. Bloody Bullet. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I know it sucked, but, you know, I did what I could. Peace, guys.